Hey guys, welcome back to some more Modern Warfare 2 Season 1. Now, this video is going to be just showing you guys things that may be obvious to some people, but I know from experience that it's not always obvious for everybody. So if it's obvious for you, that's fine. Maybe this video isn't for you. Uh, but if it's something that you're maybe confused about and, you know, it's going to help you kind of understand, you know, what, how, how do I access this, this, or this, then this video is for you. Because obviously with Season 1, we've had some brand new additions that should have been there at launch, yes, given... But hey, better late than ever. And some of those things include hardcore. Some of those things include the combat record. And yes, the combat record is in the game as of right now. Um, so it is, it is finally there. And it's actually very, very detailed. So we're going to go into all of that. I'm going to sign in here. Uh, and we're going to uh, show you guys exactly how, you know, what that looks like. So if you do enjoy this video, if it does help you out, stick around for more. Let me know in the comments or leave a like or whatever you want to do. Uh, otherwise, let's go ahead and jump into this. Now, first things first, when you boot up the game, uh, you're going to have a shoot house shoot house playlist so you can access that if you want to sh access shoot house 24 7 that's where you're going to find it it's on the main menu uh, before you actually enter uh, multiplayer so if you scroll down there's multiplayer there's dmz there's battle royale warzone 2.0 which are locked as at the time of recording this but it'll be unlocked by 1 p.m eastern uh, on the 16th of november now you can go access shoot house like that if you want to access multiplayer like i said go down and click multiplayer the ui is confusing i know uh you can also find shoot house right here as well it's going to be beside quick play if you press square over quick play of course as per usual you can select your game modes now you're probably wondering well hey what about hardcore i don't see hardcore i see ground war i see invasion i see tier one i see private match where's hardcore well this is actually hardcore my friends tier one is what they're calling hardcore i don't know why they changed the name uh, but this is what it is. If you want to play hardcore, you click on tier one. And it's going to boot up the lobby like this. Now, if you press square, you can select the game modes that you want to choose for hardcore. If you want them all selected or if you only want certain ones. Again, it's going to be hardcore. Maybe we'll do another video kind of checking out some of the gameplay of hardcore if you guys want that. Uh, but as of right now, what we're going to be doing is just uh, looking at uh, some of the menu stuff. Okay, so again, if you want to access hardcore, this is going to be how you, you're going to do it. Uh, it's uh, not too, too difficult uh, to do. And again, you, sorry, I just hit my microphone. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, so you can select hardcore. It's called, again, it's called tier one. Now, beyond that, for the battle pass, I'm going to have a whole in-depth guide about that. But you're going to just go over to this tab over here. And that's where you're going to find the battle pass. Okay, again, I have a video explaining the brand new battle pass. It's, we're not going to waste time with that in this one. Basically, it's these sectors. You can choose your own path. Um, yada yada you know it again it's a little bit more complicated so we're going to explain that in a different video which should already be up on the channel by the time you guys see this one now of course you got your customization screen over here so you actually have a loading screen uh now as well so you got your default map and you got all these other things so you can see that there's unlockable loading screens uh, again, you know, they're taking a bite out of Fortnite, but it's okay. It's okay. You know, it's, it's, it's good stuff to kind of, uh, adapt to. Uh, of course you got your emblems, your calling cards, your vehicles. Uh, these all have brand new screens. It seems like now. And then of course you have your store as well, which is where you're going to be able to find, uh, everything, uh, you know, in, in terms of like, uh, skins, things like that, operator skins and whatever. So they have all these different bundles. Um, you can see and you can scroll through them. You can see on the right side You can scroll through them with the right stick if you're not on PC Obviously if you're on PC keyword and mouse is gonna be completely different um, So again, if you want to buy any of these kind of bundles, they have a bunch of bundles available right now uh, You can click X to view the bundles. See what's you know included. It's kind of like a dragon one. It's very very cool um, You know, you've got like a tiger one different things like that uh, You got your franchise store. So if you want the call of duty CDL uh, launch pack you got that as well um, And all that good stuff. So that's that uh, and then we got the combat record. So you're probably wondering, well, how do I access the combat record and see exactly what my stats are? Now, I do want to give you guys a little preface. Don't don't roast me too hard, okay, in the comments. Uh, but if you push the options button, it would be like the top right button on your controller, uh, whatever that's going to be on PC. But it brings up this menu, which would show up your, you know, show your COD HQ, social, progression, which by the way, progression, if you go here, you can see that you should be now prestige one. It still says 55 at the top right for me, but it says Prestige 1 here. Very confusing. And every 50 levels, uh, you're going to be able to hit a brand new Prestige. And you can, you can kind of see those uh, emblems right here as well. Uh, except for the last one. For the last one, it's not showing the emblem. It's showing a gun. I don't know why that is. Anyways, back to that menu. So if you go to that menu uh, and you open it up, you can see there's a new tab called Stats. If you click Stats, this is where you're going to see your combat record. Now, you might be looking at this and saying, hey, this is very, very basic. Um... 
And I was, by the way, I was very surprised that I've already played two days and 17 hours. Uh, that's already probably way, way, way more than I played Vanguard. Because, yeah, and let's not talk about that. Uh, but here's the thing. You can see at the bottom left corner, it says multiplayer. Now, I'm assuming Battle Royale, Warzone 2.0 is going to be there. Maybe DMZ is going to have its own tab as well. I think each of them is going to have their own kind of combat record. But for now, we only have multiplayer. So I'm going to click on that. And that's actually going to load a brand new, very in-depth kind of uh, look. And, and we can actually go even deeper with this. So you got your lifetime but if you can see the bottom left corner, if you push L2, it's going to show you for your last 10 games. My last 10 games were not very good. My KD was horrible. Like I said, don't roast me too hard. And you can also see what weapons you used for the last 10 games specifically. Now, if you push R2, you can switch from kills to kill death ratio to see your, your weapons, right? So, for example, the cost off 762 is my number one top weapon. I got 443 kills with it. But what about my KD? What is my KD using that weapon? Well, it's 1.37 with the STB556, right? So I can see that the cost of 762 is not even on here. So it might be the gun that I have the most kills with, but it's not the gun that I have the highest KD with. So if you want to see whatever gun you seem to play best with, where you die the least and you get the most kills, you win the most gunfights, well, you could check that out as well, right? So for me, like I said, cost of the most kills, but STB556 seems to have the best KD. So again, very in-depth with that. We can even go deeper with that, but let's just kind of take one step at a time. On the left side, you can see your highest kill streak, 30, because I've gotten a nuke. Um, and then your highest kill uh, in a game. So I've gotten 64 kills one game. That was my highest thing. So I love that it shows that detail. You got your win win loss ratio. Uh, you have your KD ratio. Uh, you know kills compared to deaths, uh, and then wins compared to losses. I lose most of my games. It's not always my fault. It's all you know the the teams that were given. Uh, and then you can see that you can scroll up and down here, right? So you can check your loadouts. You can check your recent matches. So if I click the loadouts, I get an even deeper look. But yeah, the combat record is really insane. It's very very in depth. Uh, in this one and maybe that's why we had to wait so we can actually go through uh, per weapon or per equipment uh, for some reason uh, kill streaks and classes are actually grayed out right now I don't know why uh, so yeah, I can go through this and I can see like super super in depth right so for example the cost of 762 I can see my kills I can see my kill death ratio I can see my headshot percentage and I can see that for every single weapon I've ever used uh, every single one, and there's a lot of weapons I've used because I'm trying to rank them all up. Uh, I haven't used Ride Shield very much. Anyways, and then I can do the same thing for equipment. I use, use I usually use Claymores, so I see how many kills I got for my Claymores, you know, my throwing eyes, frag grenades, blah, 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 blah. Very in depth. I don't know why the kill streaks and the classes are grayed out right now, but you should be able to check that out as well. Uh, what's interesting is that if I back out and go back in, it shows me this screen right here. So it shows me per category as well. So uh, my assault rifles, SMGs, how many kills do I have for each category? And 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 just kind of you know in-depth stats about that. So that is super super cool. And then of course if you push right on the D-pad, you can go in and check your secondary. So for your handguns, you know, ride shield, uh, um, knife, you know, different things like that. Which is really nice. Again, I don't know, don't know why classes and kill streaks are not showing up right now, uh, but it, but yeah. Uh, but again, you can also actually click life to, uh, last ten games as well. I don't use proximity mines. I just blew someone else's up, and that was that. Uh, by the way, at the back of the main menu here, uh, if we go down to recent matches, modes, and all that, you can see in depth. You know, on on kind of your your match history, your last I think it's like your last ten games, right? Yeah, and so you can see what weapon you were using. You can see how many kills you got per game. You can see your kills and deaths, your KD ratio, your you know damage done. Uh, you can see the scoreboard too. If you want to see the scoreboard, be like, hey, you know what was the scoreboard here? Oh look, I got thirty three kills here. I did four thousand two hundred thirty three damage, and I was playing against you know these random people, right? I can see stuff like that. You can see the match summary for your last uh, ten games which is really cool. Then if you push R1, you can see modes and maps. Where it's like it gets even crazier, more in depth. So you got domination, right? And I can click view maps for that too, right? So I can see the, the details for domination. I can see, oh, you know, on on hydroelectric, I got a 2.0 win loss ratio and I got a 1.24 KD uh, uh, over there. 36 kills, 29 deaths, not great. Uh, so I, I can see that, you know, per, per my last, you know, so many games as well my average kills per game, and just so much detail. So 
Uh, and then again, I, you know, you got your lifetime. So th that was last 10 games. But if you push the L2, you got lifetime. How many, you know, games have I played for each one? How many wins, right? I got 88 wins and kill confirmed. It seems to be the, the game mode that I win the most at, right? And I can go through domination and hard point. And again, I can click view maps. I can see a, a complete, you know, in-depth breakdown on all these different maps and my average per map, right? On farm 18, my my win-loss ratio is horrible, but you know, I got a 1.25 KD, for example, right? Uh, and I could do that with any of these, which is absolutely insane. So again, the combat record may not have been there at launch, but it is more in depth than it has ever been. So that is really, really cool. So again, I hope this helped you guys out. I wanted to go in depth with this for you guys to show you guys exactly the details. Combat record, we got the store. We of course got, uh, you know, tier one, uh, you know, the hardcore playlist, a uh, little bit of the battle pass, kind of look at that and uh, all that good stuff. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this one, uh, stick around for more. And if you have any questions, again, let me know in the comments. And I'll do my very best to answer them. Otherwise, hope to hope to see you guys soon in another one. Tell them, friends, game on. And thanks for watching.